AOL, I'm exploring an open source project right now called Infocrost. Uh, this gives you the ability to determine your estimates of your cloud cost when you're provisioning with Terraform. Uh, and it gives the visibility within your pull request before you actually generate those resources. Uh, I just want to do a quick walkthrough of their docs uh, and actually a quick demo on how this looks within GitLab SEM and GitLab CI. All right, so taking a quick look at the project, uh, I go into the docs here. Um, they have a handful of resources in terms of getting set up either with brew or uh, some CLI commands, also registering uh, against their API service, and then even getting set up on the CI CD side. Uh, from what I've already done locally, um, I've installed it locally. I've registered an API key. They have a web service that uh, checks against the cloud cost and the, the prices, the price sheets from each cloud cost. Um, also instructions on setting up the CI CD and what CLI commands you can leverage here. Uh, specifically for GitLab, they are maintaining a CI template and a Docker image that gives the ability to, uh, it has a bot automated in there where it'll actually check against the price of what you're provisioning based off your Terraform plan. Uh, after that job is complete, that bot will send a comment back to the merge request, giving you a diff view of the resources that you're generating and the cost associated with it if they're either going up, decreasing, or being new. So I take a look at this project that I have set up here. Uh, again, I've already set up my variables for this project. So this is going to run a couple of Terraform commands underneath. So I have my, my AWS keys so I can provision the resources. Um, actually, the, the GitLab token or project token here, this will be for the bot for generating that comment to the merge request and then the InfraCost API key. Uh, they have docs in there to discuss the privacy on what data is being used or reviewed and, and what's not being reviewed. So take a look at that too. All right, so uh, for the docs here, uh, in on the, the template that, that's maintained by this team, they provide the, the level of variables that you need and actually getting started instructions for this job. So if I take a look at this project that I have set up, this demo includes um, one stage, just at for cost. Um, I'm leveraging their template that they provided. And then I have two jobs here, one, this will just uh, spit out a merge request and give me, I'm sorry, a comment to the merge request and the cost associated with it. And then this will actually give me two reports, uh, one being the vanilla pricing for the, the cloud resources and then also the cloud usage uh, with a what if analysis. And I'll show that here in just a sec. So I have the variables set up, I have the pipeline set up uh, for the Ember cost usage. I'm putting a what if analysis on it if I were to use reserve instances. So it actually gives me breakdown of rules on with Linux standard one year um, upfront cost. And I can see the differences between that. So if I take a quick look at this merge request, um, I have again two, two jobs running on my pipeline. Uh, these are all based off the Docker images that I shared just recently uh, from that effort cost template. Um, if I look here, the, this Terraform repo is just provisioning an EC2 instance. Uh, it's checking against, the, our Vinfocross job is checking against that plan uh, artifact from Terraform, and it's going to give me a breakdown on the cost. So in this case, this is a brand new provisioning. Uh, it's going to cost me $453 to spin up a new EC2 instance based off the T2, uh, and then a few other block devices that will be generated here. Uh, if you're removing something or maybe decreasing the type instance, I'll actually show you a decrease in the cost uh, for that visibility. From the reports I got set up here, if I go into the artifacts uh, for the pipeline, I have two reports in the cost report. So this will be just the baseline pricing uh, for the T2 instance. The report usage is a what if on if I were to use uh, reserved. So if I take a look here, so the vanilla pricing uh, for on-demand will be $452 for brand new. For the reserved instances with the what if uh, with the T2, I'll notice a hollow price decrease since I'm not charged on that usage there. 